have that information for you, Mr. Scorpio. Good. Mr. Brock drove our rental car as far as Miami. Now, our mileage indicates that he didn't uh, use the car after he got to Miami. Where did he turn it in? Uh, at the Miami airport. The airport? But well, what time did he turn it in? 9.20 a.m. Well, maybe he stopped somewhere between here and there. I doubt it. Why? Well, if Mr. Brock drove at the speed limit or even a little faster, he couldn't have stopped any place for more than 15 or 20 minutes. If you'd like this copy of the printout... Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Anytime we can help you, be sure to... Thank yeah, you. thank you again. It's very odd. Well, things are starting to become clear and some things are not quite so clear. Well, it's clear... The Brock's ultimate destination was Miami. What isn't so clear is why he turned that car in so quick. However, I've got to call the airport, Miami, sorry, to find out what time he got that flight back to New York. So we'll know how long he was in Miami? Yeah. That sounds awfully dull, actually. It's a lot of work finding that out. It's police work for you. 90% shoe leather, 10% brain work. Well, I think I'm going to go over to that... Uh bookshop over there and get a nice suspense paperback. I'll get my thrill set. Wait a minute, you're supposed to be helping me. Oh. Yeah, all right, so what we'll do is we'll get you a little pile of change, a little bag of quarters there, and then we'll find you a telephone, and we'll divvy up the airports. Come on, dear. Oh, good morning. How are you doing, Sean? Good to see you. Oh, hello, mm -hmm. Frisco. Take care. Bye-bye. He's, uh, friendlier than usual. You have something to do with his mood? Well, I like to think so. Would you like some coffee? I know it's cold outside. No, 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 thanks. I, uh, just stopped by on my way to the shipping office to say hello and to, uh, see how things are going with you. Oh, I'm doing pretty fine. Oh, I just remembered. Hmm. I had a meeting with Professor Perez at the university. I gave him those photostatic copies of the ones, the book that I had down, made down in Mexico. Do you remember? The one in the Mayans? Oh, yeah, but Felicia, that's a tough one. <laughs> the uh, medieval Spanish translation is almost indecipherable. Oh, I know. It'd be interesting to hear what he has to tell you. I am glad about one thing. What? Even though your hopes for a treasure have been sort of put aside for a while, it's encouraging to see you're still at it. Well, this has been very exciting for me to study my past. Sometimes I even forget about finding the treasure. Really? When I'm with Frisco. Oh, I see. Is there anything I can get you? Maybe a Danis or... Uh, no, no, I can't. I have, uh, have meetings at the office. I just wanted to uh, check up on you. <laughs> Thank you I gotta for coming go. by. All right, well... Good to see you again real soon. Oh, you can come and see me, Felicia, anytime you wish. All right? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Trixie. Have a good day. Still doing the juggling act, I see. What? Donnelly, Frisco. Sean's a friend. If you say so. I do. Uh-huh. You know, I was just thinking that if I had a friend like that when I was your age, I could have retired at 30 instead of ending up slinging hash at 50. Hmm? I think I'd better get my books and be on my way to the university. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Professor Perez. Felicia. Well, so this is where you work part-time. That's right. What are you doing down here in the dock? Oh, can I get you some coffee? I'd love some. Well, I'd like to take a little walk in the morning before I bury myself at work. Yeah. So are we still on for our meeting this afternoon? I'm all ready for it. You finished the manuscript? Yes. I must say, it almost finished me. That was a tough one. You know, it's too bad we can't have the meeting right here now while my head is still clear. Well, if you want to, I'm off duty right now. Well, by all means, pull up a chair. Great, great. You know, I had difficulty in translating, but it's quite clear how much the Aztecs learned from the Mayans, a much gentler people. Hmm? Didn't I understand there's a line in your family descended from the Aztecs? Oh, yes, but I am a very peaceful person. I'm sure. Well, for centuries, the Mayans had had their tombs robbed, you know. So they had to develop protective measures. And, as a matter of fact, they became very uh, skillful at camouflage. So some of their tombs may not have been discovered yet. I imagine so. They developed very intricate labyrinths, which had the plunderers going around in circles. Of course, the Aztecs picked up on this, too, to adapt to their own tombs. 
They even uh, got the ideas from the Mayans for keys and locks, you know. Keys and locks? Some of the walls were very delicately balanced, so that if a key were inserted in the proper position, the walls could be turned quite easily. But even in those days, there were plunders who could make duplicate keys. So the Mayans had to develop something else. You mean as far as the keys go? Yes. Sometimes it was quite ordinary. Uh, a ring could be used for a key. You mean like a finger ring? Yes. Hmm, to think that a finger ring could be used as a key. Very clever. Don't you think? Yes, it is very clever. Well, as soon as we found out about Brock's financial situation, maybe I can... Then get something on this ring. It's beautiful. <gasps> Jack, I know this is bad news. Calm down. No, I'll get it. You don't know that at all. Now listen, if they haven't died and they've come to take you in, don't say another word from this moment on. That's why I'm here. Hi. Oh, Miss Brock. Come on. Hi, Jake. Hello, Bobby. Bobby. Well, I'm sorry, did I catch you at a bad time? It depends on why you've come. Did they indict me? Well, I don't know. I haven't heard. Is that why you thought I came over here? The thought did strike our heads, yes. Well, didn't my office call you and tell you that I just wanted to talk to you, Bobby, that I had a question I hoped you might be able to help me with? Uh, I answered the phone and nobody said anything. Naturally, uh, I'd like you to run that question by me first. Well, all right, Jake. It's fine by me. It seems that the day before Brock took that overnight trip, he made a phone call to Miami, Florida. He was on the phone for ten minutes, and I was hoping that maybe Bobby would recognize the phone number. It's circular. All right. Take a look. No? Hmm. Why don't you guys trace it? We're going to. I'm asking the commissioner to look into it while he's in Florida. Any more questions? No, that's it. I've got a question for you, if you don't mind. We'll go right ahead. The DA is presenting his case to the grand jury today. Why are you guys looking for more evidence? Either the DA's case is cinched or he's jumping the gun. Which is it? Look, Jake, I just do whatever the commissioner asks. I should have known. Thank you, Robert. Robert and Holly both. 